and welcome to the Global DJ Broadcast. I am Marcus Schultz, and today, coming to you live and direct from Amsterdam in the middle of the Amsterdam Dance Event festivities. And to mark the occasion, we have a special co-host for the day, and it's none other than our good friend, Ferry Corsten. So what do you got going on here at Amsterdam Dance Event this year? So I got, uh, yeah, I got my show at Panama tonight. Uh, with, which is with uh, Luminosity and you know, got a whole lineup uh, to mention to, 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 make, to mention I know my boy uh, Dimension is there you know I've been supporting him a lot and uh, he's been doing great so uh, you know it's going to be fun to be playing with him also um, tomorrow I'm actually doing a special masterclass type of thing at the Abbey Road Institution in Amsterdam as you know my, my album Blueprints has just been released and um, you know it's like this, this whole story um You know, like a yeah, like a like a narrative story type of thing, combined with the music and everything. And um, we kind of mix that into Auro uh, 3D sound. And uh, and I'm basically going to sort of explain what that was like and and why and uh, to make it really immersive. And uh, so uh, that's uh, that's going to be you know free free entry and uh, free entry and um, um, that's, that's going to be tomorrow.
This is the Global DJ Broadcast ADE Edition with me, Marcus Schultz, and Ferry Corsten. A big year for Ferry as he released his new artist album, Blueprint. Speaking of the Blueprint album, like the story. Yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> story. I mean, it's like I've heard it, uh, you know, driving so many times right. through, uh, you know, it is, to it. it is one of those things for driving, you know. It's, an, it's a, like many albums are there to just, you know, bang, bang, bang. But this album, I, I really made this album with, with like listening in mind, whether it's driving or you're just at home or biking somewhere or studying. I don't know, but you know, it, it's. I just wanted to do something else. Um, than just the music album because well, who came up with the story the story actually I, I teamed up together with, uh, with with David Harrington Miller who was also responsible for uh, for some of the episodes of House of Cards and uh, so he's a, he's a script writer from LA and um, we, we basically sat down at some point and um, we found that we both had the same interest in sort of sci-fi and you know and um, so basically he drafted up a first story and then it went back and forth a few times I, I, I sort of changed a few things in there and then he, he rewrote it How and about the names that who came up with the he names? came up with the names and I think it's brilliant Lucas, Lucas. And, v, and V Lucas and V I mean you yeah. know it's, yeah, it's great I the name V too That's yeah absolutely so I mean he wrote it up to like 70% uh, uh, yeah from enough for me to um to take the story and, and use it to write the lyrics for the songs around it. And I work with, uh, with Niels Geusebroek, a Dutch artist, and um, uh, Clarity from the States, and also with uh, Eric Lumiere and, uh, and Helian. And, um, you know, they, they took care of the, of the majority of the songs. And, um, and Kelly and, you know, and Helian, I think she's amazing. Yeah, and it was uh, really strength. nice because the music really kind of fits the storyline. I mean, I think yeah. the important thing was to make sure that the yeah. lyric lyrics it's all connected, yeah. Lyrically, it's connected, but also emotionally, like in terms of the energy and emotion in the in the music itself. Um, so I, I kind of wanted to make a, a almost like a movie without the motion picture, yeah. if you will. So it was, you know, it, yeah, it was a wild card. It was a bit of a, a gamble. You know, some people like the narration, some people don't, uh, and therefore it's available in in, in both formats with and without. To be honest with you, I can't listen to it uh, without the narration. I have the same. It's, you know, the, the narration. <laughs> It's part of this. It's yeah, part of it, now. it makes it complete, you know. And then, and although the tracks do work, because that was one of the the criteria when I was sitting down with everyone, like, okay, if we write a song, you know, th this song needs to be able to stand alone, yeah, and uh, without the uh, without the story, uh, it still makes sense. So, but uh, yeah, it was in, in many ways it was a it was a challenge, and uh, it's something I really wanted to do for a long time already. And, Happy that it turned out the way it did. My favorite line. Stupid Lucas. Stupid. The world's most beautiful echo. <laughs> yes, there you go. All right, we got to play something from the Blueprint album. What should we play? Well, this, you know, this, this is actually the first time I worked together with, uh, with a Dutch singer uh, on this album, Niels Geusebroek. And uh, this is also the new single. It's called Waiting. All right, here it is. Waiting.
Ferry is responsible for is his flashover recordings label, and we're going to play one of my favorites from the label this year. Said Ayub, remember. It's one of those tracks from, it has a feel of like 10, 15 years ago. One of those classic old like trends tracks. Remember, you remember this vibe? Yeah, I remember this vibe. You know, the song is really laid back, but then, you know, the big stabby synth is, uh, is just there, and, and then the groove of the bass line is just uh, one of those tracks that in my sets always does the job, yeah. I can
And I must make mention of some of the other tracks that have been big for me from Flash over this year. Venaccio, Wave Rush. Wave Rush is, uh, that's pure fire. Yeah. yeah. Dimension, the energy? The energy, uh, Dimension can't go wrong in my books, you know. I mean, um, he's, he's the closest artist on my label that, uh, that, that, that has that almost... The fairy the, 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 the gorilla sound. So you know, whenever he does something like that, it's uh, I'm always looking forward to the next dimension track. Yeah, right. and of course, Gorilla Venera V's theme. V's theme. It's uh, you know, as as many. It's been classic. Yeah, as many of you know right now, that you know, since Ana Hera, there's a, there's been a, a new gorilla every year, and um, you know, so Venera Neba, and then Venera was was the next gorilla, but it felt it felt so right to include it on the you know in. In the blueprint album and um, and sort of like be the theme for V, so that's that's that, that's why it has this subtitle. Yeah, it's beautiful.
global. DJ. This is the global DJ broadcast.com track of the week. The track of the week. The track of the week. Schultz here on the Global DJ Broadcast. Sitting beside me here in Amsterdam is Ferry Corsten. Okay, so let's talk about the Gorilla concept and what's the difference, the main difference between 1.0 and 2.0? Um, 2.0 is quite a bit of new music. I mean, where where one where Gorilla one basically, it was a show that just happened out of demand. You know, I I wasn't really planning on doing a show, and it was just a bunch of promoters that said like, hey. You know, you, with this whole Gorilla thing, you should do a live show. And with Gorilla, I only had like six tracks, and it's not enough for it to fill even an hour, right? So I had to come up with something, and and I just came out of the whole Hello World uh, EP series, and that made me put in um, Vuma and um, and Follow You in the first one, and Dopamine, which which Dimension made it's, it's just for the show. So um, and now with Gorilla 2.0, it's you know there's blueprints. So it's definitely it definitely has all the Gorilla tracks, but also Venera, which wasn't in the first one. Um, and back in the day, as Gorilla, um, we remixed 1999 by uh, Binary Refinery, uh, which wasn't in the first show. So I also again reproduced that to make it fit into the new show, Perfect. plus some some blueprint stuff. Yeah, new visuals and you know. Yeah. How yeah. Did you like um, Transmission in Australia? That was where you did the first 2.0. Yeah. Yeah, it was great, man. It was just like it was just so big. The, this massive stadium and uh, to have it with the production of transmission I think you know the, those guys are so on point uh, in terms of how, how tight that production looks with all the lasers I think they have 54 lasers well we're going to be uh, doing it again uh, in Prague yep. November 25th uh, yep. I'll be doing the Dakota show and you'll be doing your Gorilla show again uh, and then we'll be playing together again in Gdansk, Poland on Saturday, December 9th for yeah. Gas Explosion. That's going to be fun. Reborn. Yeah. So uh, yep. there'll be lots of mischief coming uh, out in the fall between us. <laughs> Good enough trouble, huh? Yeah. <laughs>
Amsterdam Dance Event Edition with me, Marcus Schultz, presented alongside our special co-host for this week, none other than Ferry Corsten. And a little something in the background for you, the world premiere of this year's transmission theme, Marcus Schultz Presents Dakota, track is called The Spirit of the Warrior. Many thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys are enjoying the tunes and the conversation so far. And just to let you guys know, a very special show coming up for you next week, the annual global DJ broadcast After Dark, our special themed edition from the Four Seasons series, celebrating the weird and wonderful of the rabbit hole. I can't wait for next week. But until then, we continue with the ADE edition and with the open to close solo set at Milkweg on Friday. A little taste of what you can expect throughout the night. Global.
Kitchen with me, Marcus Schultz, and special co-host, Ferry Corsten. And Ferry, of course, has his own weekly radio show. Corsten's Countdown, your radio show. Um, you passed the milestone. 500 episodes this year. Yeah. All you right. know, it's just one of those things. That happens. It just happened. <laughs> All of a sudden, you're so many years down the road, and it's just like, oh, well, damn, it's, it's 500. 500. Wow. Yeah, it, it, it's, uh, you know, and you, with your show, you've been going on forever. Armin, with the State of Trends, has been going on forever. I mean, all of us have been doing these radio shows for so long. And then, When I started know, my radio show back when I don't even remember, I knew that if I labeled it, it would, like... <laughs> yeah, like... It would be... Uh, <laughs> there's a number there, then. Yeah. It's like, I, I just never numbered it, but... No. You see how quick the numbers add up uh, they, they really run up quickly and it was real fun this um, this one because you know the, the I've done it a few times with uh, with some of those milestone shows where I had like um, you know you know the, the concept of Cross and Scout is like I play all tracks and you can vote for your favorite track and I play like the, the top three in the next yeah. episode and with the, with those with those I call it monster shows like eight hour live thing you know it's like I play all these tracks that have been ever that have ever been played in one of the Cross and Scout shows yeah. you know and then That's again winners, yeah. Yeah. yeah and then you can vote for your favorite of what you've heard that day and then the last hour we do the rundown of like the top 10 of you know those tracks so it's, it, but it's really fun it's um and you know what the funniest thing the funniest thing was honestly because obviously when i do all the interviews with with everyone i can't i cannot have everyone right there and then in the studio or you know at that very moment on the phone or anything so some of the interviews are recorded right as did we yeah and the hilarious thing was I hadn't eaten the whole day, right? None of my crew had. So your interview was about six minutes long or something. And uh, um, so I played that. And then the food came in, and everyone's like, oh, finally, we can eat. Okay, Mark is going to talk forever anyway. So, you know, so, it was, so you, and then you jumped. Something happened, a glitch in my in my laptop, and you you, you went into an emergency loop. <laughs> Your interview. Oh, my, oh God, my it was, God. It's, it's so bad. I'm and of course, definitely find that. Of course, like, somebody out there has I'm to sure have it. a rip of that. But, of course, it had to happen when your interview was on, right? It could have been anybody else, but, yeah, no, this is hilarious. But, yeah, that, that's, it, that's what happened happens and it's, it's just fun. It adds to the fun, I guess, you know.
DJ Broadcast ADE edition with me, Marcus Schultz and Ferry Corsten. So we've been, both of us have been really super busy for the last year yeah. with your Blueprint album, me with the Dakota Project. Um, and we, you know, honestly, we have not had an opportunity to talk about the elephant in the room. And that's what everybody wants to know about the New World Punks. Right. New World Punks 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> 2.0. That's, I like that idea. Um, I mean, first of all, I think the, the fans need to uh, um, be reminded that we are uh, great friends and, and uh, oh, yeah, we man. miss each other on the road. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, busy, busy. I mean, if, you know, you can focus on, on, on New World Punks forever, but it means also that, um, that you sort of like... Was it dilute? You know your your yeah. own your own thing. So I think we both had that that uh, you know take a step back a little bit. Yeah, let's just focus on your own stuff again. And um, and but um, uh, I would not ever say never, right? I mean, if, if there's a new track that, that comes up that feels right for the next new old punks, hey. Uh, I, I thought you were uh, still mad at me because of that <laughs> that episode with the Brussels sprouts. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Well, that's a that's a story for another time. Yeah, that's another story. <laughs> all, right. Um, all right. So, but, uh, you know, let's go back there. I think it's definitely to be seen. You know, to be continued for yeah. sure. For sure, we gotta do something in 2008. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. For sure.
the global DJ broadcast with Marcus Scholz. Hello, how did you find me? Where have you been hiding? I know that you remind me. This fire inside me feels like we met somewhere before. Saw you, my heart just hit the floor. This time I'm following the signs. This moment can flash before you yeah. So it's. Marcus Schultz live in Amsterdam alongside Ferry Corsten. All right, um, the classic of the week this week. This one's going to blow your mind. Okay. Classic of the week. Kamaya Painter's Endless Wave. Nice. Albion remix. Awesome. Um, so, uh, first of all, I loved your Albion uh, alias. It has so many memories to it. I mean, I remember the Sasha and Digweed compilation with air on it. Yeah, yeah. Of course, the calling, uh, calling your Call name. Your name. Yes. Yeah. And you use the air sound a little bit on the uh, Ali and Fila collaboration. Yeah, you know I, when 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 um, when I was I was working with Fadi on this, you know Fadi sent me uh, like a, a little MIDI thing, and I was like, okay, well, where to go with this, you know? And um, you know he's like, fair, green light, do whatever you feel like it. <laughs> so I was like, okay, okay, you know, and, and some of that sound, that that deeper. Trancy, real trancy, warm sound. It's, it's still missing again, you know, in the scene today. It's all uh, about the break and the big build up and the big thing and the big team and the big this and that. And you know what I loved about the sound of of, of those days, especially with the uh, the Northern Exposure albums, such a Dickweed, right? It had those tracks on them. They were the momentum just kept going. Right? Kept going and kept building slowly, 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 and it kept getting bigger and bigger, but not as obvious, you know, not like, oh, here's this, the breakdown, we make the track really small and then boom, explode, you know, it was just, it was just there and, um, and it was about the groove and it was about a vibe that was building and not necessarily about like, oh, the big super build up and stuff, so, yeah. All right, well, thanks for your company. Um, I will definitely be out at your party tonight at Milkweg. Nice one. Uh, excuse me. At, no, at, 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 at tomorrow <laughs> night, I'll be at Milkweg. I'm there. I will have, uh, I'll have an extra bottle of um, Jägermeister on oh, ice for you tomorrow night at Milkweg. <laughs> <laughs> Jägermeister also. All right. Good, <laughs> right. okay, man. Looking forward to it. All right.
taking a trip down memory lane. This is the Global DJ Broadcast Classic of the Week. Schultz presented alongside our special co-host for this week, none other than Ferry Corsten. Many thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed the tunes and the conversation throughout. You'll be able to catch this set on the podcast at MarcusSchultzPodcast.com and at Stitcher.com for Android users. If you need the full track list from today, you'll be able to find that on my website at MarcusSchultz.com. Hope you guys have a great weekend. And if you're in Amsterdam for ADE, I hope you party safely. I'll see you back same time next week for a very special show, the annual Global DJ Broadcast After Dark with me, Marcus Schultz. That's next week. See you then. Global DJ Broadcast.